All right, you two. Second offensive series for the Vikings. Mullins under center once again. And they're going to run the football as much as they can, it appears tonight. Ty Chandler bouncing off of a couple of defenders, getting out close to that first down marker. We just weren't in the right run fits. How do you remedy that? You've you got to get guys to understand where they're supposed to be and how they're supposed to be. Look at this. You know, guys mm -hmm. don't get over the top. Guys are not spilling right, not knowing where to box in. And gaps are covered. I think that's, what, that's how they can remedy that defense. Vikings go play action and an incredible oh, hit oh, oh. from Kobe Bryant. I think he's going to be in trouble for that one. Yeah, but it sure oh. lit up the crowd here at Lumen. <laughs> well done by Jalen Rager to hold on to that football. They pitch left this time. Chandler once again tries to get the edge, and he's going to be real close to another first down for the Vikes. A look to throw right side, and he's going to get there. Johnny Muntz just able to step out of the tackle. Trey Brown had him behind the line. So Minnesota moving the football. Mullins almost lost his footing. Able to get it back. Looking to his back. Chandler steps out of another tackle. Second one that we've seen a DB for Seattle. Have the guy wrapped up around the ankles, Mike B, and could this hold him. Is, he's not talking about anything else. No, nothing else. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm speaking, sorry, I, got, I was speaking Ebonics Mike up here, is man. Going quickly. I'm sorry, man. This is Ebonics up here. Yak and this slang. Yo, Chandler yo. over the middle. Picking up another first down for Minnesota. I love you, though. 11th play of this drive coming up. The pitch. And falling forward inside the 10-yard line is the fullback, Abram Smith. The Vikings are 0 of 3 on third down. Mullins goes out of the shotgun, takes the snap from Schlopman, passes over the middle, caught. Brandon Powell, new member of the Minnesota Vikings. I was the last person to ever tackle an oiler. I know that. <laughs> Mullins, play action, good pocket, fires to the left. Jordan Addison with the catch, his first National Football League preseason catch. Mullins, shotgun, five-man rush. Throws to the right, man wide open, Jalen Rager inside the five-yard line, first down. Second to goal from the four, Mullins out of the shotgun, looking right. He'll throw to the end zone, and it's caught! It is Nick Muse. Nick Muse with a little gritty to him. And it is 9-0 Minnesota. Hurried up, got to the line of scrimmage, because this is just... A pick route, like a star route. And Nick Muse running the deep seven route. You have the flat route underneath it. It's all about the check down. And Chandler is so good at turning things up and getting positive yardage after the catch. Mullins feeling good about himself. Play action, throws left, and it's caught at the 40 by Jalen Rager near side. And he'll roll out of bounds at about the 46. Thought we were going to go for it on fourth down, but we're going to punt. Ryan the right, end over end punt. Inside the 20, rolls to the 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown at about the 1 or the 2-yard line. It's a 46-yard presentation. And I think the, you know, that's that's one of the things that Josh Metellus brings to the table. He can do that. Block. Oh, he's nearly sacked. He'll get it away to the right side. And the play was not whistled dead. Charbonnet picked it up. I love that same thing, too. So my mindset was ever I'm out on that field, just get the job done and let's go. Lock goes out of the shotgun, empty backfield, two receivers left, three right on second and eight in a game tied at ten. Oh, he throws it over the middle, and it's intercepted by the Minnesota Vikings. The interception goes the way of rookie Jalen Williams. The Hoosier with a 12-yard return. The Hoosier will walk us into break. Third quarter, game tied, and it's Minnesota Vikings football. 54-yard drive, right hash, Joseph, snap spot, Greg Joseph's kick is hooking through the uprights, well done Greg Joseph, 54-yard boomer. And try and just bring that within the running back room, just to be the, the legs of this football team and uh, get us rolling. You talk about that heavy workload, man, I mean, I be, have you been doing more hills? Empty backfield, takes the snap, looks left, about to be sacked, got out of it. Looks to the end zone, throws incomplete. So I think that's something that's going to help him out. He also did a good job protecting. And Abram Smith did a couple of the, uh, good good things, too, in uh, in pass protection. Blitz, Hall, right, Nikhil Harry. The one thing I want to see tonight, I knew that we weren't, not, we weren't going to see a lot of blitzing. We weren't going to see a lot of exotic things. But I want to see the energy, and I think that's what's happening. This defense just seems much more energetic. They seem like they're playing on their toes a lot more.